It's the moment they'd waited almost 10 months for. News that the Phoenix had landed safely on Mars. Touchdown signal detected. Landing lead sequence initiated. NASA say it couldn't have gone better in their dreams, but pointed out it was far from easy to hit the target. It's like trying to hit a hole in one, but you tee off in Washington and you hit the ball 10,000 miles and you score a hole in one in Sydney, Australia. That's one part in 10 million. Four inch hole. That's not a bad shot. <laughs> so, Charles, not, bad, not a bad shot. Add, you have to remember that hole is moving. I'm sure Mike would appreciate it. <laughs> Finally, NASA have the first pictures from Phoenix of the red planet's surface. It may not look very exciting, but it's almost exactly as they thought it would look, and it's given them confidence they'll now find ice beneath the surface, which will tell them if the planet could support life. Underneath this surface, I guarantee you, is, is ice. There is ice under this surface. It doesn't look like you don't see any ice, but it's down there. They may have cleared the crucial last hurdle, but now the mission really begins as Phoenix starts months of exploration. Scientists hope it will unlock not only the secrets of the red planet, but also tell us more about our own. Over the next few days, we'll be getting the whole scene filled in. We've only looked at one little sliver of uh, the Martian surface, but it's exactly what we wanted, and I couldn't be more pleased. This is a, a scientist's dream right here on this landing site. The team behind Phoenix have already beaten the odds. Before today, 55% of all landing attempts on Mars had failed. But now they want to go down in history as the men and women who proved once and for all if there ever was life on Mars. Angela Corp, Sky News.